Good morning. This is almost like a video for saying hello to Nat because just had a um, annoying little situation. Um, she doesn't have much battery left on her computer and she's trying to work out um, how to get a power cord because I've got her power cord because mine broke and um, we thought we had it all sorted. She actually paid uh, to pick up this one that turns out it's the wrong model, it's the wrong connection, which is a real shame. And I was just, the irony, <laughs> um, recording a panel discussion um, for the pre-summit interview series that we're doing and um, it was for solo house sitters and we never planned it but it turns out that uh, it was perfect because now I'm a solo house sitter. <laughs> so in the middle of recording that, um, she tried Skyping me. I forgot to shut down Skype. So now I can't get a hold of her. So in answer to the question that Laura asked about uh, how do we feel about... Um, sorry, I'm just going to do the washing while we're talking here. Um, how do we feel about being separated for this time? And uh, I guess it's now you know, like 30 hours or a bit more or what have you, but uh, yesterday was a bit weird because I didn't get much sleep the night before Nat left and um, it was definitely about catching up on sleep. I was really kind of doughy all day, tried to make the panel discussion work, it didn't work, there was a few things going against me. I uh, took the dogs out and yeah, and then the two walks last night and this morning, we just go around the, the block here where, you know, this little village that we're in and uh, there's this one little prick of a dog who runs out from his front gate and doesn't have a go at the dogs, he has a go at, at the person. So Karen, the owner of these guys, has actually already been nipped on the back of the ankle. And it just freaks me out and I just realised how much more stressful it is on, on my own than having the two of us walking together. So today, this morning I even, <clears throat> um, as I was walking out, I left the dogs off the leash to see if they'd protect me a bit more. But this little guy, he, I had my shoulder bag with me and he actually attacked the um, the bag. It's like, oh, it's such a nightmare. So I can feel the stress levels sort of coming up a little bit. Um, normally on a house sit on our own where we have been separated, it's only happened a couple of times. We've been within a you know, short bus ride or something and easy pets to look after. But um, this time... Um, actually, I'm just going to move over here. So, yeah, so this time um, it's a bit different because I've got these three massive dogs and they are just such high energy. Um, yeah, it's. I wouldn't take this on for more than the four days that we're doing, <laughs> that's for sure. I think Nat's sitting down there with this purposeful no internet uh, situation so that uh, she can just chillax for a few days, which is hilarious. I'll get down there and I'll be like, oh, thank God for this little resort to relax on. What are you doing, mister? Let's see if I can turn this around. Hey, what are you doing? Your energy bundle? Oh dear. Uh, so I was going to show you how I was doing my washing, but I've just put a bunch of towels on. But um, anyway, how does it feel? Ask me in another day or so. I'm thinking I'm going to be really, really missing her. At the moment, I've sort of got too much to do. Um, haven't really had a chance to sink in and go, uh, oh, I'm on my own. The um, first thing that comes to mind is that I didn't actually cook anything to eat until about... Um, Oh, I think it was 9, 9.30 last night, so I forgot about it because if I only have to rely on whether I'm hungry <laughs> as opposed to maybe when Nat's hungry, which is sometimes when I make food, uh, she'll say I'm hungry and then I'll realise that I am too. <laughs> so, oh dear, all very interesting. Um, I just thought I'd quickly show you a little bit of this really cool house here as well. So. This is just the back terrace. So the main house has been locked off to us. We've got a little casita uh, that we've been staying in, which is just over here. That's where we've been doing all of our recordings. And upstairs um, is a really beautiful terrace that we've done a few recordings for the summit as well. Anyway, I'm not sure if I've got everything that I want to say out, but <laughs> um, miss you, Abe. And yeah, I'll see you in a few days and hopefully you get a power cord so that we can actually chat on Skype and get our timings right. Okay.